No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the go live now. Oh, uh, well, we are. Ah! Yeah. I just broke my nail somehow. Hello. Glasses are filthy. How's everybody? <laughs> How are you? You're pretty good. Why are you pretty good? Tell everybody why you're pretty good. What are you excited for? Guess what, everyone? It's a secret. Mom? Yeah. Plug your ears. Oh, please. put my ears. Try not listen. What? Try not listen. What? Try not listen! <laughs> I can unplug my ears now? Yeah. Okay. You what did, something? Oh, no, what did I say? I don't know. I heard... <laughs> That's what I heard. Is that what you said? You say something now I know. Okay. Can you hear me? You can just like, unplug your ears. No, I, it said... <laughs> okay, good. All right. Well, hopefully they heard you, whatever it was that you said. Um, should we get started? Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody what we're going to make today? A dream catcher. A dream it, catcher. Can it, you stop bumping into it, me, please? Knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> Just chill out. Okay. Um, we are going to make paper plate dream catchers. I had intentions of the theme for this week to be um, nature stuff that we could do outside. And uh, yeah, it's too hot. And right now is the you know warmest part of the day. So I bailed on that. Um, we'll do that in another more temperate, <laughs> manageable weather week. So um, we're going to do dream catchers today. I don't know what we're going to do on Friday. Maybe something else with string because string is um, the main, one of the main parts to this. So we could probably do something like that. Um, we, even though today is Wednesday and we didn't do anything on Monday because of the holiday, um, Cole and I will be doing three art activities this week still because tomorrow he and I will sit down and do something we do every year for his birthday. And that is do his birthday painting. And every single year, this will be the sixth one. And we hang them in his room. So he's got five already. And he does them every year at his birthday. So we're going to be doing that again tomorrow. Um, it's a technique that we have already done here. So I didn't feel like bringing it in and doing it today. So he and I are just going to do that. Just me and him. So we'll figure out what Friday is. But let's get started. Um, so uh, dream paper plate. Dream catchers. So what you will need, let's go over supplies and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay. All right. So it's called a paper plate dream catcher. So you need a paper plate. <laughs> um, you know, this kind I happen to have. Um, I have a bunch of different kinds of paper plates for a bunch of different reasons. Um, I actually think I bought these at the dollar store for arts and crafts purposes. So what I like about this when you're using um, paper plates for craft is I like that it is one side is um, not glossy. So it's a matte and it takes uh, all kinds of medium markers, paint, watercolor, and acrylic, what have you. This side is a little glossy, so I don't really like this kind, but I like that it is plain white so that you can decorate it as much as you want to. A lot of the, the ones we use upstairs, when, you know, in our kitchen when we eat, they have the like, you know, flowers or decoration around the edge. I don't want to use those unless I'm going to cut them out, that it doesn't matter. But um, these were the cheaper ones. Um, like I said, I got them at the dollar store, but that's okay because I'm going to cut them up anyway. So um, dollar store paper plates. You'll need some kind of string, yarn, um, even kite string will work. Um, this is just, I don't know what this is. This is string. Um, I've been using this for a lot. I have a couple colors, but I was kind of limited on the colors, so we just went with neutral white. Are you asking to hold it? Or are you yeah. asking a question? Okay, go ahead. Um, you'll need scissors. Oh, I didn't bring your scissors down. You'll have to use mine, or you'll use your teeny ones. Scissors. Um, you'll probably need some kind of tape. Um, I'm going to use masking tape, I, or yeah, I was going to use masking tape, or you could even use scotch tape. You can glue, um, but I think it'll be faster for what I'm using the particular tape for, okay? You will need a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, 
then use a really sharp pencil or something that you can stab a hole uh, or multiple holes. It's a lot faster with a hole punch. Okay. Um, probably something to write with, but maybe not. We'll see. I'll let you know in a minute. And then the extras, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else necessary. I said scissors, right? And tape. Um, optional things would be feathers. Ooh, soft feathers. Um, not necessary. If you do not want to use feathers at the end of your dream catcher, then you just need some kind of like colored construction paper. And I'll show you how to make a feather to put at the bottom for your dream catcher. Um, also, um, optional would be beads. Particularly, I think pony beads um, work the best. I don't have a lot of them. In fact, these are the only colors that Cole and I have for pony beads. It, we used them in a Thanksgiving craft. I think it was when we I made corn and Halloween. stuff. Oh, okay. Some, but some, yeah, some um, fall craft where we made corn. Um, so pony beads really work, but you do not need them. You don't have to. We're going to try to add a couple of them in. They kind of look nice on the string, the bottom strings that are hanging down. Yes. Why? Where are you going? To the bathroom. Okay. Do you want to grab your scissors when you come back down too? Yeah. Because you like those scissors better. Okay. Yeah. All right. They fit my finger yes. Back. Okay. And then um, I and then if you have glue, I would use like a wet glue or what works even better is hot glue, which I think I am going to plug in over here in a moment, but I don't want to plug it in quite yet. Um, so um, I've been letting this kind of drain down because it's just about empty, but um, Elmer's glue, glue all school glue, any kind of craft glue would work. The only reason I'm going to use this glue is when I attach the feathers to the bottom of the string, I'm going to need something to attach. Tape won't really work. Um, you could thread it through, you could tie it, but these are fragile. They will like snap. See, like just snapped one. So I kind of want to um, get it more secure. So that's what I'm using the glue for. Okay. So let's put the feathers to the side here. Um, let's see. I'll put those, my fake feathers to the side here. Okay. So um, Cole can catch up when he, when he gets back. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take your paper plate. And um, it doesn't really matter what side, I guess um, you can make that decision at some point, whatever you want. Um, I, what the first step is, is you wanna cut this center out, right? Because you wanna open, you wanna ring. So you wanna cut this center out. I, you can see that there's a nice little line right here. I want that, I want it a little thicker than that, I think. So I'm gonna just gonna kinda draw a line in here. I'm just gonna freehand it. I'm just gonna draw a line. And I'm thinking, trying to think of which side I want to be the front. Um, I think I'm going to have the matte side be the front. So that means I'm going to draw on what I think is going to be the back side. We'll figure it out. So I'm just going to loosely draw just so that I have something to cut along rather than freehand. And I'm just eyeballing it. You could take something circular and trace it, which is probably what I would recommend, but I don't have anything right here with me. And so I'm just gonna freehand this circle. Okay, so now whatever you're, so I just freehanded that circle and that's the what I'm gonna cut and then everything else is gonna be my ring left over, okay? I'm gonna start cutting this and then I'm gonna let Cole um, get, on. yeah, get into it. So the first thing I would do is I'm just going to stab a hole just so that I can get my scissors in there and start cutting. Okay. So I'm going to start cutting along this for you. And then once I get about halfway through where your little hands can get in there, I'll let you cut the rest. How about that? Okay. Okay. So you're just, I'm just cutting along the circle. And, uh, like I said, I freehanded this. So I'm not, I'm cutting on a little bit inside or sorry, outside of the line that I made. So that way the line doesn't show and then I can decide if I want to flip it around whichever I want to be the front. You will have to decide which is the front and the back pretty soon here. because It'll depend on where you start putting your tape and your string. Okay, do you think you can cut the rest of that along that line? Uh, yeah. All right, your scissors are way over there. I'm not sure why you put them way over there where you can't reach. You and I just keep getting tangled here. It's like I need to sit sideways or something. It's the only way I can fit you on here. Okay, so while Cole is cutting that out, 
Um, I'm going to get some string ready. Now, um, you could use multiple colors of string. Doesn't matter. You could use one color. Like I said, I have white here. Um, is it too hard? Yeah. Okay. I will, all right. I know it's, I kind of thought it would be a little tricky. Can you do me a favor and start to kind of un unravel that? Um, and then, okay, but don't, no, you hold one end and then pull with this because you don't want to lose. Don't let that fall on the floor. You know, I hate getting up from these chairs. <laughs> all right. So let me finish cutting this really quickly. Paper plates can be a little tricky for the little hands because it is cardboard, um, so I kind of get it. I just was giving him a shot. He likes to do as much as he can. Okay, so you can see here, I don't really need this unless you wanted to add something later. Um, if you want your feathers to be the same color as the paper plate, you could use this when I get to that point, but basically this is what you want. Now, um, you are going to want to decide if this is going to be the front or if this is going to be the front. I think I want this to be the front. Yeah, I don't know true. why. I think because you don't see as many of these creases. Although, you know, if you're decorating it, these creases, like you could draw, you could paint inside there. So I don't know. It's kind of up to you. But I don't really like the shiny. So I'm going to make this be the front. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to leave it like this so that everybody knows this is the, this, the, I'm using the mat side, which is the bottom of the plate. I'm making that the part that's the front. Okay, I'm so, making that part too. Okay. So let's see how much string Cole has. All right. So this door is probably about eight feet door, and I'm saying door because that's my desk. Um, our work table is a door, so it's about eight feet or so. Okay, so we have about eight feet. I feel like eight is probably a good amount. Um, so I would say anywhere from about five to seven or eight feet is how much you want in string. So here's what you can do for me. Cut right there. Okay, there it is. Like closer to my finger. Not on my finger. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Don't cut my finger off. That'd be bad. All right. And we're going to use the string again because um, we're going to need the strings that are going to hang low. Now, the idea now, um, first of all, this right here, I asked Cole earlier if he was interested in decorating it first and letting it dry and then adding to it. That's what I would have done. I would have really cut my plate, then painted it or colored it with markers or do, I don't know, paper mache, mod podge, whatever you want to do to decorate it, the just the ring part. That's what I would have done. But then I would have let it dry. He just was not, we were having a rough school day today, so we just, we're going to make it white and he can decide after the fact if he wants to color it, okay? So the next step now is we have to punch holes all along here because we're going to take this string and we're going to weave it in and out, in and out, in and out of the holes. Okay. So Cole, you should be able, now that we've cut the string, let's just put it to the side. It doesn't fall on the floor. You should be able to hole punch. We're going to see. Can hole you punch. squeeze that for me? Just yes. try squeezing. Um. Yeah. Okay. So where you're going to hole punch and you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to make some dots. Okay. Daddy, we're daddy. going to make some dots. It kind of doesn't really matter how many you have. We're the, just going to do four. Well, no, we won't do more than five that. five or six. Or seven or, seven, or eight. eight. Uh, I'm going to do a few. Or nine or ten or eleven or twelve or thirteen or fourteen or fifteen. Oh, did I miss one? Six. Sure. Okay. So now what you're going to do, so I just marked it for him. You can see the dots. I just marked it so that he knows where yeah, to hole punch. Yeah. I'm going to show you what you're going to do and let's see if you can do it. Okay. So yeah. That little nub right there, you want that facing down because it's going to give you a little extra leverage, okay? You're going to put your hand on the inside here, and all you're doing is you're going to punch right over where the dot is, squeeze, and a hole comes out. Ooh. You got it? Okay, so hold it like that. All right, and you're going to put your, hold it with your hand, yeah, like that probably. There you go. And then you're just going to move all the way around. You got it. Yep. And just cover up the dot. As soon as you see the dot disappear, you should be good. Oh. That's right. I'll hold the plate. It's, there you go. Okay. And punch. Is it too hard to squeeze? Oh, yeah. It's too tricky. Oh, okay. No. You know what? We need a little more muscles, but that's okay. We will work on that. Okay. So, again, these are all things that I am having Cole do is I want to test him and see what he is able to actually do accomplish. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to do this. What well, we will we'll work on this later, you know. So you're just going to punch on through. Punch, punch, I think I punch, missed punch, a couple. Punch, 
spots, but that's okay, right? So here's what's cool about the dream catchers. You know, some people want it to be perfectly, um, like symmetrical. Oops. Um, they want their, but I for personally think the cooler ones are very haphazard. Do you know what haphazard means? Just like whatever, man, whatever. Well, what I think here's a secret. I'm gonna put um All some where? polka dots on my um dream catcher. Okay. And some stripes will just like color in. Okay. So I like the normal ones, not the cool ones. Because I think the cool ones um catch um less um bad dreams. Oh oh you think well, all right. But the better ones with more strings catch more. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get a couple pieces of tape ready. They don't need to be very big. I'm um, just going to rip a few pieces of tape, a couple inches maybe. Okay. We're going to flip this over because this is our front, correct? Mm -hmm. We want to flip it over to the back side. Get me one end of the string. Okay. One end. One end. Here's the end. Okay, so now you're going to pick a spot anywhere. I don't care. Just pick some place, and we're gonna, that's where we're going to start. Don't weave it through yet. Um, we're yes. just going to, right, okay, so we're going to lay it. See, make, I want to make sure everybody can see. I probably shouldn't have done white on white. You know what? Just for the sake of being able to see better, we'll put this under it. There we go. Just for the sake of seeing better. Okay, so... Um, all I'm going to do is, you can see that we're going to start it right here. This is where Cole chose to start it. This is the back side, so it does not matter what this looks like. And all I did was I'm just putting tape down so that this string stays put. Right there. Okay, so it stays put. Right, put a piece of tape right there. So now what Cole's going to do is he's going to come through here, and he's going to find the other end of the string. Okay? And you are going to put this, weave it through. I'll do one or two for you. So you're just going to pull. You're going to weave, weave it through. And we have one. So there's one. Now you just go, you pick another spot. Find and then the end. Bonding. Right? And where do you want? Pick one. Pick a circle. That one? Okay. So you're going to stick that through there. And all you do is you just keep on going, ah! keep on going. And you just want to make sure you pull it kind of tight. Not super tight that you rip it, but tight enough so that it goes across, okay? I'm going to let you work on that. There's the end. You just got to find the end every time, okay? And then okay, the end is way down there now. And I have another piece of tape ready for when he gets to the end so we can tape it on. Um, you want So see now, yes, there you go. Although that one's not going to go across, you know, right? So you started it right here. If you do this one, that one won't show. It'll be on the back. So you probably want to go opposite somehow, somehow across, crisscross it. Okay, that's not crisscross. Okay, this is what would happen if you put it in there. I just want to show you. There isn't one. It doesn't show. So the idea is you want it to go across. That's where. That's how it catches the dreams. So if you put it there, it wouldn't have, can't catch the dream. Okay, so see this one's here. You need to do at least any of these over here okay so now pull it across to one of those or one of those i don't care which one but make sure that you can see it so it has to cross the middle of the of the um the circle so this is where it's at so you now take that and you put it wherever you so you can test it out you can even lay it here right and be like oh if i went in that circle that's what it would look like does that make sense mm. i'm gonna move it over to you a little bit closer because you're kind of okay, reaching i feel bad maybe this. All right, so thread it through. If you have a plastic needle, you could attach the plastic needle to the end. Um, I don't have anything like that. I wonder, I'm trying to think of what I have. A Q-tip would be too fat, I think. Um, you could tie it to something. And then once you get it through, you just pull. I can hold the plate for you if it's easier. The threading part is a little tricky. That's why the hole punch is much better. There we go. And just pull, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Um, that's why the hole punch is better than just a pencil because, you know, a sharp pencil or poking it through. Perfect. Okay. So now you do the same thing. So now you did this one. So you're going to want one. You're going to want one, any of these. I would say 
from here over to about here, any of those. So here to here. Well, yeah, that one would go here first and then you could go there. Yep, so do that one first. Let me make sure this is up. Hold on one second. Hold on. Let go. Let go. <laughs> I think we did a weird... Okay, now pull. There you go. You were double twisted. Okay. You pulled it. I know, but it was twisted around it, and it was going to loop around the, the actual plate. There you go. Uh, Perfect. Okay. Now crisscross it over here somewhere. Because remember, right now, all this right here, no dreams. Dreams are going to go right through. we got to catch them. we got to come across so you can catch them. So, if it was like this, then you're going to need to come through this side right here. So, put it right in there, in that little hole. This? Yep. Um, drop it through, I'll grab it. I dropped it through. You daddy. Oh yeah, they got to get frayed. This is why I was saying a needle might... Okay, now you can pull. Go ahead and pull all the way through. I got your string right here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Ooh, You're kind of off there. camera. <laughs> if the dreams so now... go through here. Yeah. Oh, so Maybe can... this one. I mean, we want to cover all the holes. So at some point, you know, I may have made too many holes, but whatever. You can always go back in and tape another. If we didn't get all the holes, we'll tape. We'll cut another piece of string. If you didn't cut it long enough, that's fine. Because again, it's not going to show in on the back. Okay. So I'm going to help you, oh, okay, just to speed it up a little bit here. What are you trying to do? Let's pull through here first so you have more string to deal with. Or not. Okay. Which one do you want? This one. Okay. This one? Yeah. Whichever one it's across with. Um, I guess it's across from this one. All right, so you're just pulling, and again, make sure you pull a little bit tight. Okay, now which one? This one. That one. To, oh. Okay, that one first. Where can it go? Well, to? it can go. Oh, and it can go through another. Oh gosh, I'm stuck on my tape. It can go through the same hole. There's no reason why I can't do that. Let's move this out of the way. Let's tape in my way. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. <laughs> that was kind of, that was not a good one, but that's okay. That's all right. So now let's go across, right? We need to get to these guys right here. So we got to, got some holes in there. The dreams are going to get right on through. We want to catch them. Yeah, the, the bad dreams, you want to catch them. You want to catch the bad dreams? Yeah. Okay. I don't really know how dream catchers... Work. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe they somebody can tell me. Suck them up somehow or something Maybe. like that. Maybe they just float through the walls and then whichever wall they go through, um, the dream catcher um tries and catches them. I don't know. Okay. Did you um when you guys were talking about them in uh talking about Native Americans in school, did you maybe talk about dream catchers at all? I'm no. Not sure. Okay. All right. So I'm really close, and I have two. How many holes do I have left? Looks like I only have one one left, but that's okay. That might be perfect. I might loop it through an extra one just so that we can cover up some of this. Okay, so see that space right here? That's a little wide, so we can come across here. Which, so see the string that's coming across? Where do you want it to go? To that hole or, oh wait, never mind. There's a hole right here. Yeah. Forgot about that one. Okay. So we'll use that one, and then I'll bring it across one of the others. Perfect. I'm going to bring it right across to this one. Okay. So that it, um, so and then what I'm going to do is, so see how the, okay, so this is the, this is the end of the string. There's only a little bit here. A um, couple things you can do. Like I said, if it was too short or too long, I guess, if it's not the right length, you can cut it and then tape it where you want. If you're switching colors, you can obviously do that. Um, this is the front of it. So I, instead of looping it through, I'm just going to take the tape and I'm just going to tape it down. Okay. Hey, hey, okay. Hey. Cole's going to just tape uh, it right down. No, and it... I'm playing with it. Okay. So you're going to tape it then making it nice and tight. 
you're going to tape it right there, basically across that piece of tape maybe. And try not to make it show. Yeah, there you go. And then press it down real good. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to press it real good. This is not the best tape. This is dollar store tape also. Okay, so there is where I, you can see where I started it. Oh, 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 started it and I ended it kind of at the same spot. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut the end of this. Cole, can you do me the honors and cut the end of this for me? This little taggy, tag tag. Tag taggy, tag taggy. Okay, just tag, cut it off tag, for me. Tag, tag, Hold the string. There you go. Uh, Not right up to. There you go. Right there is good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so now we have our dream catcher, right? Okay, so this is the dream catcher part. Now, again, if this is not enough, you just go through, do the same process. Stick a piece of tape on there. Weave, 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 however you want. If you want to weave it in a really cool pattern, you can do that. Um, I've seen ones where they take this part, cut it into a shape like a star or a heart or maybe another little circle, and you just kind of lay it in the middle, hole punch around that shape, and you weave around it all the way around. It's pretty cool too, and that's kind of fun. But this is our dream catcher so far, okay? Using this side, um, Cole could still decorate it all he wants, as much as he wants, because there's a nice little line here that goes all the way around. He could still go in and decorate it, and it wouldn't mess up too much of the actual catcher part, okay? So the next step now, is to add uh, the strings that hang down below with the feathers at the end, okay? I think it's just one. I think it's three usually. Um, it's usually, I feel like every single one I have seen is three. Three or five or something like that. It's usually an odd number, okay? So you're gonna want, depending on how you long you want your dream catcher um, to dangle, you're gonna want three strings. Um, I would say this one that I'm cutting right now is probably about, I don't know, 16 inches or so, whatever. <laughs> um, you're gonna want three strings and you're gonna want them in varying lengths. I'm just kind of gauging here, okay? That one might be a little bit long, but we're gonna do it that way. So I'm gonna put this over here real quick so you can see. There's one. I'm going to do a couple shorter, one maybe about 12, and then maybe another one like in between those two, 14-ish, I don't know. That part is up to you, okay? All right, so there are my three strings. I did them in varying lengths. Um, I don't know if it matters. I actually feel like maybe, I don't know if this part doesn't necessarily matter at this point, but um, I actually feel like maybe it should be these two a little bit closer to the same length, but whatever, right? That one's too long. Okay, right, whatever. All right, get the whole bunch out of the way. So now what we need to do is, can you put your scissors over there so they're out of the way? We're going to take our three pieces of string right here. Actually, let's keep this purple thing here. Um, now, you are going to, again, this is the front. Do we want to tape the strings to the front or do we want to tape them to the back? I'll give you a hint. If you tape them to the front, the ugly tape will show. If you tape them to the back, the ugly tape won't show. So back. do we want them on the front or the back? Back. Back, okay. So I'm gonna get three pieces of tape here ready for you. So, okay. okay. So here's three pieces of tape, right? Okay. All right, so you are going to then, doesn't matter, but pick a spot on the back here and you're gonna tape these three strings, okay? Well, what, you got to put the string on first, bro. Okay, so do you want me to do the first one so I can show you? All right, this one will be the middle one. Okay, I'm going to paint this, or paint. I'm going to tape this middle one right here. Exactly. Okay. Can you put a piece of tape right over there, like in between my fingers? I exactly know what to do. You just don't want the tape to show. That's the only thing. All right, we're gonna tape it down. Again, same thing, just secure it really good. Okay, so now what we have is that is your first string and these strings are gonna hang down. So we want another one um, right next to it, two next to it, okay? So this is what it looks like that. Okay, and then we're gonna, hang, we're gonna tape the other two. So now that you can see I did that, will you tape the other ones on for me? Here's your other two strings, okay? You're gonna tape 
one right here. In fact, I'll even make a mark for you. Just so that it's a little easier. I'm gonna go one right there. And one right there. All right, so go ahead and tape those other two down. Here's your tape and your string. See that little green dot? Okay, just lay it, yep. I'll, what I'll do is I'll pull it up, the tape's right here, right next to me. Oh, I used it right there. No, I'm oh. pointing. Oh. If I grab it, it will lose its stickiness. Perfect. Uh. Yep, oh, that's fine. That's all right, it's no, you, that's okay. It can be stuck to the, we want it stuck to the string, all right? So let's secure it really good. All right, and now the other one, there's a little green dot right there. You line it up and then I'll hold it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. You get your tape. Tape time, tape, tape, baby tape time. Ugly tape. Okay, so now I'm just securing all of these that are sticking out, but that's right, we can fix it later. Okay, um, you could glue these down um, if you want, but basically, this is what we're looking at so far, okay? So he's got three strings. Now, we are gonna add some feathers to these. Yahoo! Oops, there we go, it's probably more like it. We're gonna add some feathers. Um, so Cole, what I need you to do really quickly Feather. is pick out three feathers and then decide which color beads you want, if you want beads on there. If you don't, no big deal. I'm gonna get the hot glue gun ready. And these are the only colors of beads I have. So if you want just one, like if you want all white or all yellow or all orange, I can do that or I can um, alternate. Okay? These yeah? Colors. Okay. Not yellow? Putting yellow back Not in? Yellow. Okay. All right. Okay. So Cole picked these three feathers. So the idea is that we're going to add them down here at the bottom. That's basically what it's going to look like. So then when you color, you could choose colors that go really well with that. Okay. Now question first, do you want beads? Uh, for what? We, I don't know. You could add beads onto this. No, thanks. no, no beads. Okay. If you were going to add beads, what I would suggest is again, pony beads. Um, you can use any beads, but these are pretty standard and the cheapest. Um, when you put them on, uh, you know, it's probably a good idea. I won't actually tie it because Cole says he does not want any beads on his. But when you put it on there, um, you can fill this whole thing up with beads. Or if you want it to alternate, you just got to tie some knots so that there's a knot at the end, um, at the bottom of the bead, so that it doesn't slide all the way down. Okay, Cole says he doesn't want any beads, so we're going to go sans beads. So I'll put the beads away. Okay. All right, so then the next step, Cole, is we basically need to attach these feathers to the bottoms of these strings, okay? Um, so I don't know if my, hopefully my hot glue gun, you know, I'm letting my hot glue gun heat up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is if people don't have actual feathers, I'm going to show them what they can do to make a feather, okay? Let's say you don't have actual feathers, then you can make your own feathers, okay? Pretty, pretty simple. Um, you just kind of cut the shape of a feather, which is kind of like rounded on the sides, pointy in the, um, in the, at the edge, okay? And then all you do is, if you look at the way a feather is made, if this is the bottom, you have all of these, they all go, they shoot out and up right, on both sides of the bone in the, um, okay, so if my, if this was my top and this was my bottom, you're going to have these cuts that go like this, so that just means you need to come the opposite way, so I'm just going to start making cuts, and I make them pretty thin, and you just kind of cut along, and this is way faster than I probably would do it if I was doing it for myself, okay, and then, kind of, are you okay? Yeah. You're kicking me. No problem. It's a problem for me when it hurts. No problem. Okay. And then you can just kind of like bend 
You could even fold it in the middle if you wanted. And there is your feather. Ta -da! Well, there you go, your homemade feather. Okay, so again, the idea is you just cut so that they go the same direction toward the top, and that is your little feather, handmade feather in 30 seconds or less. Ta da! Okay, so I bet the hot glue gun is ready. Let me come over here and let me see if I can reach this guy onto the camera. Oh, yeah, I can. This is a longer cord. Okay, so I got my trusty hot glue gun here. Trust so what we're going to do is we're going to let Mama do this because um, it's hot. What I need you to do, Cole, is I need you to tell me which string, what order you want them in, okay? So do you want, which one do you want in the middle? Which one do you want on this side? And which one do you want on that side? Lay them the way you want, please. Middle, big. Okay, so that's this one. No, I meant... Oh. String okay. Wise. What color? Middle big um string, and then the side smaller than that, and then feathers pink on the um this side. Okay. Blue on the middle, and orange on this. Side. Okay. So here we go. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Let me look at this feather a second here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on here on the bone only because it's going to hold a little bit better and I'm going to super super carefully do it without burning myself burn and then I'm going to stick the string right onto it. Marshall just peeked in. Who did? Marshall. Marshall? Yeah. Okay and then I'm just going to stick it on there try not to of course touch it with my fingers because um, I don't want to burn myself, and there it is, stuck right on there, okay? Um, you can go, what I like to do if there's these little stragglers, let me pick this up so I can kind of show you closer, if there are these little stragglers in here, I'll go in and I will put more glue over the top of it so it just kind of seals it, okay? So there's one. Skin colorful. Yep. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Yeah. I don't know um mm. if we're gonna do the um the drawing um I mean painting um out of video, but I'm pretty sure we do because I bet everyone knows how to draw. And guys, um, whichever side's the front, or you could do it the whole way around. Whichever side's the front, you can um. Paint and um and you can do it polka dots, stripes, polka dots or stripes at the same time, or just plank like one color or pink. Like that's the one we saw. So yeah. Look at everything. Alright, so this one this one I'm gonna have to redo because I did it too much on the feather and that means it's gonna fall off. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see that, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more on the I don't know if it's called the bone, but the spine part, the hard part of the feather. And I'm just gonna stick it right on there a little bit more. I think there we I'm go. going to call it the body. Ah! Ah! Gluey strings everywhere. So now I'm just gonna go over the top of the string and I'm just gonna add a little bit more of glue on there. I'll just show you up close. I just put another like glob of glue and that's gonna dry and it's gonna keep it held in place. And so I'll do that for all three. Only because the feathers sometimes, right, they all fall apart. I got, you know, the hot glue issues, strings everywhere. All right, and so now I'm just going to a little bit more over the orange one. Okay, that out of the way so nobody gets burned. Let that dry for a minute. Woo! Hello, feathers. And so now if you were using this little handmade one, it would be the same thing, right? You would just stick it right onto the string like that, which I think that's actually a pretty cool feather. Yeah. Okay. And so basically, here is your dream catcher. You just need to paint on um, or So let's hold draw it up. Can you the, hold it for me? Yes. You just need to paint or draw the, um, the, the top. Okay. See, to so there way. is your paper plate dream catcher. Now, if you want to hang it, you could obviously hang it through this, 
Or probably what I would do is I would do another hole punch right here yeah. and then attach a string to it so that you have it somewhere. Oops, it's hanging kind of crooked. So that you have it somewhere that you can hang it. Um, <laughs> might have made these strong strings a little bit too long, but I don't think there's a rule on that. I don't really know. But yeah. there you go. So there is your paper plate dream catcher. Color it, decorate it, do what you want. You could even loop beads through here. I think if I would have done this um, myself, I probably would have put a couple beads in here. Um, just for a little extra design. Be careful, that might still be hot. Okay. And well, there you go. Right. Paper plate dream catcher. Ta-da! Ah, you just need to color the top. Yeah. Top, hop, hop All right. to the well, top. that's it. Hop. No! Yes, I, that is it. That's the whole thing. There's nothing else to show. Right? There's nothing else to show. Okay? So... We all just say goodbye to everybody, and we'll no. say we'll see them on Friday, okay? No. Yes. Bye. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Happy bye, dream bye. catching. Bye. Dream catching. And I hope.